Hello, hello everyone. This is Wake Up People. I'm glad that you are tuning in. This is one of my segments where I just go on a little. I won't say a rant. I say I go on. My mind be going and I see a lot of things. So at the spirit of moment, when God tells me, when I get the spirit, you know, I want to, I'm not going to say vent, but bring awareness to what's going on in the world. Before we start, um, I like to say God bless everyone. Hope everyone is in a safe place with the Lord Savior Jesus, Jesus Christ. Um, the only way to see God is through Jesus. Uh, Jesus is King of the world and of all. Um, we have to get saved, people. We are definitely living in terrible times and prophecies are being fulfilled. Today we're going to be talking about Satanic rituals, Illuminati, Freemasonry. Um, these type of groups and secret societies always been kind of like a myth in the background. People never really paid attention. Evil lurks. Evil, you won't see evil face to face. You won't see evil clear as day. Evil lurks. You know. They try to set their station where they're going to set up at. And unfortunately, the evil spirits and demons of this world are fallen angels which fell from heaven as the as Lucifer fell from heaven he brought the third of the stars with him correct me if I'm wrong either way you look at it there are fallen angels on this earth the devil is the king of the earth for right now until Jesus come back and this is where we start at so I can go down a rabbit hole with the fallen angels and everything else. That's a whole nother story in itself. But that right there is really the start of it. Because these evil spirits are smarter than us. Satan is very smart. That's why he's the father of lies. He has the power to convince you that it is, but really not. Hmm. So the, the people that has the powers of these world, of the world, the riches of the world, some of these people, most of these people, sold themselves. They sold themselves to the devil. There's wickedness in high places, people. There's evil everywhere you go. Anything you touch, the air you breathe is evil. It's contaminated. The devil contaminated everything. Everything was made for us. And since the day that he deceived man, everything was taken away and was made evil. And it can be made to hurt us. Whatever you can, whatever can help you can harm you. And that's the way it is in this world since evil crept in. So getting riches and having fame and having all this money and stuff it comes with a price people this stuff ain't free what come with what, what you get for free is your life and your salvation and your mercy and your grace from the lord savior jesus christ you get your riches your money your fame your material things that's worldly things that's why the bible always constantly talk about the flesh because we love earthly things we love worldly things our flesh has desires so man's most what, what man's desires is is to be famous to be rich to be kings and queens and people would do anything and that's why you have Illuminati you have Freemasonry I know all about the Freemasonry I had uncles in the Freemasonry I was asked to join I kindly denied it and it's crazy, at the time I wasn't even into it, but when I was introduced to it, and I see the activities they are in, no, I don't, <laughs> I can't go to church and then have to go to church, you know, go bang my homeboy's wife out 
while he watched. That's the type of stuff they into. It goes down. It definitely goes down. But um, you have people in the entertainment business and politics, you know, these big corporations, gas companies, electric companies, federal government, all these people, and most of these people sold their soul to the devil. It's contaminated. So now it's 2017 and you have a world full of abominations. You know? And Illuminati and Freemasonry, they have blood sacrifices, sex sacrifices. They like, you know, to have sex with you in order for you to get to this part of your life. You have to sacrifice a loved one in order to get ahead in life. People think this is a joke. People think this is a fairy tale. But this really happened. This is not no movie. You know, you, you've seen this in the movie. Because it's inspired by real life. Because these things really happen. So, you have all these blood sacrifices and these rituals. And all of these things God already told us not to do. The blood sacrifices is so ancient. He stopped that because it was being used the wrong way. Blood sacrifices was to sacrifice themselves unto other gods and strange gods. So the whole ritual thing is just to get an enlightenment. Some people want enlightenment. What's enlightenment? That third eye everybody like to say. The eye of the horse. Tammuz. That Ishtar and Nimrod. Yeah, that rabbit hole that I don't want to get into, which has a lot to do with what I'm talking about. See, these things are spiritual, wicked things. And it happens and it goes on. You have the Jay-Z's of the world. You have the Kanye West's of the world. You know, you had the Rihanna's of the world, the Blue Ivy's of the world, Katy Perry's of the world, Molly Cyrus, Lady Gaga. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Madonna, Michael Jackson, Prince, Prodigy, we just lost him. He was a big Illuminati uh, truther. You know, <clears throat> even you had martyrs for Christ that was telling the truth. You get killed for telling the truth. It's prophesied in the Bible. And they're still killing people over the truth today. Not the way they did it back in the day. But they're getting the job done. So all the people I just named, a lot of them are in the Illuminati. You have your movie stars. You got The Rock. You know, Morgan Freeman. Denzel Washington. Yeah, all these people with the money. Even your favorite president of the world. Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, George Bush. The reason why they killed John F. Kennedy was because he was telling the truth about what's going on in the government and they didn't like that, so they had to get rid of him. These people are, are snakes. These people aren't your friends. It's like kind of like when you get into the Illuminati rituals, it's like kind of like joining a fraternity. And even fraternities people, they have rituals too. See the thing is, everybody thinks just because it's secret and it's harmless, nobody harming each other. 
it's harmless. But anything in secret to God, if you're trying to hide, you know, anything you're trying to hide in secret, you can't hide from God. And God don't like secrecy. And secrecy, to me, it spells out a thousand things. Being sneaky is like being a snake. Being sneaky is the same as saying evil lurks. So these fraternities, they don't have any, they don't have uh, Jesus as their foundation. You look at all these groups, do they have Jesus in their foundation? The Black Lives Matter, the LB, T, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G group. <laughs> all this is, is falls in line with Illuminati, Freemasonry, Satanism. It all falls in line. So, you know, people, we have to have, we have to be vigilant, keep our eyes open. We cannot be looking up to these celebrities because these celebrities are no good. Half of them was gone off drugs. Half of them gone and, 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 and they programmed. They so deep in their Illuminati they can't get out. Look at what happened in Britney Spears. Why haven't you heard Eminem for a while? You know, just think about it. I could go through all the sacrifices in the industry. It'll take me days to get through it. The people, the constant people that was talking about the Illuminati rituals, like Dave Chappelle and Martin Lawrence. Them two, they one of my favorite comedians. They went through hell dealing with the Illuminati and all these uh, satanic rituals and I'm trying to get them to do gay things and, you know, it's floating around. It's more around today than ever. And guess what? The media is hiding it so well. And you still have millions and millions of people that's blind to the fact that the industry is contaminated by evil spirits. That's just all, that's what it's about. We are fighting evil spirits and they are taking over. The evil spirit needs a body to take over. You feel me? These things has been recorded in the Bible where evil goes into a body. A demon, evil spirit goes into a body and is possessed to do whatever it wants to do. Whether it's to kill, to hurt, or to prophesize blasphemy. And that's how it works. And these guys, you know, these people and the Illuminati with these blood sacrifices, they don't care. They try and drag whoever they want with them. These people have millions and millions of fans and they dragging millions and millions of people to hell. If you look at it, God is not the foundation. Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna rephrase it. Jesus Christ is not the center or the foundation of this country, of this world. So anything that goes against Jesus Christ is blasphemy. So everybody that's in high power, these presidents, each and every last one of them set for a few good men, literally, is here to deceive the public. Excuse me. And that's why we need Jesus Christ in our lives. Because all this filth they putting out on the TV screens and the radio, on the radio, on social media. They're pushing all this, all these abominations. Hip hop looks like gay hip-hop today if you look at it today versus 15 years ago what a world we live in just look at what we allow today and the celebrities and these 
people in power push these things also. Since we like to look up to people with money and power, you know, we look up to them and want to be them so bad that we try to follow their footsteps. We look at we look at them and go up to them for advice. None of these guys can't tell me anything about Jesus Christ. If I go up asking about Jesus Christ, they can't tell me a thing. Or they'd probably be afraid to say anything because they turned this back. You have Christians in gospel music that's into the same thing. I always questioned well, I've been questioning Kurt Franklin lately. I watched him. I've been watching him for a few years, and that, I, man, <laughs> and I'm not here to judge, but I don't know about that boy. You got these pastors, celebrity pastors. You know, trying to, they're taking your money so they can buy planes and cars and houses, you know, while we sit at the table trying to figure out what to eat. they counting church money in the strip club. <laughs> Come on now. they throwing church money in the strip club. They take that money and buy drugs, cocaine. Yeah, I'm going to the rabbit hole. It happens. And if you're, you're blind and you're ignorant, if you think that it doesn't. Oh, my pastor don't do that. People don't do that. The person that, a person that says they're a believer in Christ don't do that. Have you read your Bible lately? That's the question I wanna ask. Have y'all read your Bible lately? Have you researched these things about Illuminati and secrecy and sorcery and satanic worship and serving strange gods? Have y'all ever read those things in the Bible? If you're a Christian, you should have. I don't see why not. It's there for you to read. can't read the good scriptures, the, 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 the feel good scriptures, the encouragement scriptures and don't read the scriptures that you really need to look at. We have to be vigilant people. It's not all about holding hands and putting our hands to the sky and say, thank you Jesus, hallelujah. That's a, that's a good start, great start. But we have to fight against these principalities, man. We have a job to do. The battle is raging. The devil is raging war. And we have to be ready for battle. That's what we call to do, to save souls. To fight these evil spirits. But we don't want to do that. We want to continue to exalt evil and worldly desires and that's what the Illuminati and Freemasonry is about making sure your flesh is pleased with the money with the materialistic things with all the attention the fame the fortune the endless free things that you can get. You know, people will go lengths just to smile and, and, and just to have happiness. They go through all that. They go through all these things just for that or to feel important. It's all about what they want. And that's what we ultimately fell, fell because 
you alone cannot fight against these spirits and these principalities. You alone can't get, can't, you just can't walk into heaven without having some, somebody <laughs> take you there. You just can't do it. People go their whole lives and will go through their whole lives believing a lie. The devil is a liar, people. And all these celebrities and these, these people in power, they don't care about us, man. The government, they don't care. They're going on about their daily business. They doing their father's work. I'm over here doing my father's work. You know, they out there to deceive. I'm out there to tell the truth as a body of Christ. And that's what it's all about. And these satanic rituals, these Illuminati, Freemasonry rituals, and these secret societies, and it's, it's, it's all a part of an agenda for the devil. It's playing a big part in this movie. It really is. But, um, hey man, you know, God said he will send people a strong delusion for those that don't believe. So if you don't believe now, man, I don't know what's going to happen when Jesus sent that strong delusion because it's going to be so heavy that it's going to really deceive the very elect. Have a blessed day, people. Make sure you go out to my website. Wake up, people. I got videos. Bible verses, stories. Um, I haven't really been on my website lately because I'm dealing with other things, and I'm backing off of some of some of the things that I do because it's taking much too much time, and I got more important things to do. So, but I will be posting more videos. God bless everyone. Have a blessed day. Remember, Jesus loves you, and He's always on your side.